So now we are going to discuss problem based on electrostatics from competitive exams means NEET and AIPMT and some important problems. First problem point charges plus 4 Q and minus Q and plus 4 Q are kept on the x axis points are given only Q is minus Q is in stable equilibrium none of the charges are in equilibrium all the charges are in unstable equilibrium or all the charges are in stable equilibrium. So, we have to check this C what we are doing here we are putting plus 4 q at x is equals to 0 at this point plus 4 q x is equals to 0 at x is equals to a minus q and at x is equals to 2 a plus 4 q what is happening here this 4 q is attracting this towards this and this is attracting towards this both forces are equal so they are cancelling each other you can say minus q is in equilibrium but if you little bit it pushed it near to this this force will increase and this will decrease balance is destroyed now it will move starting to move in this way so it means the equilibrium was unstable so only one option is matching with this all the charges are in like this way unstable equilibrium if after pushing it will come back it means equilibrium was stable but that was not happening there because if distance between 0 and a plus 4 q minus q will reduce this force will increase and its direction is this and it is decreased now they cannot cancel each other it will start moving next it is from 1995 AIPMT a charge q is placed at the center of the line joining two exactly equal positive charges the system of three charges will be in equilibrium if q is equal to what they are saying we have two charges equal and positive plus q at a again at b plus q suppose this distance is 2 x at center means at c distance from this x distance from this and x distance from this what we are putting a charge q is putting there we want the system should be in equilibrium if q is positive a and b both will ripple both forces are equal and in opposite direction they will cancel each other no tension if small q is negative both will attract with same force they will cancel each other it will be in equilibrium so either q is positive or small q is negative or it is of any amount it will be in equilibrium now we will check the equilibrium of a what is happening to charge kept at a this plus q charge is rippling this in this direction so this plus q is rippled by this plus q in this direction suppose this force is f b if this plus q is again positive it will also ripple so it cannot be in equilibrium so i got the sign q should be negative 
now for equilibrium force of attraction by this means by c it is point c should be equal and opposite to fb only then this plus q can stay in equilibrium position so same will happen with this plus q so for stable equilibrium for equilibrium for a and b fb should be equal to fc but what is fb 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 upon 2x square what is fc 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not i am talking about magnitude only sign we got negative q1 q2 upon distance square so 4 pi epsilon not cancelled with 4 pi epsilon not x square with x square 1 q with 1 q so what i am getting q should be q by 4 and previously i got the sign it should be negative so what is the answer small q should be minus q by 4 so we are going with option c we are going with option c next it is from 1999 aipmt when air is replaced by a dielectric medium of constant k maximum force of attraction between two charges separated by a distance we discussed in just theory sheets it will decrease k times it will decrease k times next it is from 2003 aipmt an electron is moving around the nucleus of a hydrogen atom in a circular orbit of radius r the coulomb force f between the two is what is inside the hydrogen we know that in hydrogen atom in nucleus one proton is there and electron is in orbit and distance is r this is electron so what should be columbian force number one the force is force of attraction one is proton one is neutron so we will go with minus sign either d or b should be there now what should be the force i am talking about magnitude only 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 proton and electron have same mass same charge same charge e q1 q2 means e square upon r square but if you want to write in vector form multiply the distance vector and divide the modulus of this it is again r so in vector form what we are getting so now it will become unit vector so if you are writing r vector you have to write r cube because we want unit vector we want to make give direction only that's why we are dividing by modulus of r so now i take r with this so now it is not a unit vector so we will not go with b correct answer is d next it is from 2000 electric field at center o of semi circle of radius a having linear charge density lambda given by c i am taking it is a linear charge distribution so i have to take help of integration what i am taking at an angle theta i am taking a small element this of length dx 
if length is small this angle should be small length we are taking of that small element we are taking its length dx this length we are taking dx so now see what will happen this small length it will put electric field in this direction small electric field in this direction if this angle is theta it should be theta so this component of electric field is de cos theta and this component is de sin theta what will happen if i take at same angle one portion here again it will resolve in two parts so that portion in magnitude wise it is same so its de sin theta component will cancel out and its de cos theta it will go in this direction only so every one portion which is in upper part have same length of portion in lower part so their de sin theta were cancel out only remaining part is de cos theta so what we have to do we have to integrate all this portion what portion de cos theta and what is the intensity due to this part intensity due to this part we can calculate we know that length is dx on unit length charge is x so on this length charge should be dx into q so due to this electric field should be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q charge density was lambda charge density was lambda so total charge on this lens element dx lambda upon a square distance of each element is same radius of this so we are getting dx lambda upon they are saying radius is a so we are putting a square but by the definition of angle we can write d theta dx by a so we can write dx a d theta so what we are getting total electric field means integration of this de means 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not dx lambda upon a square cos theta and what are the limits limits of theta are from minus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 means lower end to plus pi by 2 means upper end so what we are getting now in place of dx we can write a d theta lambda is constant take outside 4 pi epsilon not is constant take outside outside so in this we are getting dx means a d theta a cos theta d theta upon a square cancel one a take this a out, outside so we are getting lambda by 4 pi epsilon not a integration of cos theta is sin theta limits are minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 so we are getting lambda upon 4 pi epsilon not a sin 91 minus sin minus 90 minus 1 so we are getting 2 cancel 4 with 2 so final answer is lambda upon 2 pi epsilon not a so we are going with option c next the given figure gives electric lines of force due to two charges q1 and q2 lines of force are attracting towards q1 means q1 should be negative and lines of force are again 
attracting towards q2 so q2 should be negative so both should be negative so we are going with c next it is from 1998 aipmt a particle of mass m and charge q is placed at rest in a uniform electric field and then release the kinetic energy attained by the particle after moving a distance y is c if we are taking charge on particle q and you will keep it in electric field e it will experience a force of q into e so its acceleration should be force upon mass newton's second law what they are saying its initial velocity was zero we want to calculate velocity when displacement is y means distance traveled is y we have formula s is equals to galileo's equation ut plus half time is not given so we will use third equation v square is equals to u square plus 2 a s so what should be the velocity after y displacement it is 0 2 a is given q e by m s is given y s is given y take m on this side and 2 in denominator so directly we are getting half mv square which is kinetic energy what it is q e y so kinetic energy of the particle after moving a distance y we are getting q e y so we are going with option a next it is from 2008 aipmt a thin conducting ring of radius r is given a charge plus q definitely it will distribute uniformly the electric field at the center o of the ring due to charge on the part a k b of the ring a is the electric field at the center due to charge on the part the electric field at the center o of the ring due to the charge on part a k b of the ring is e the electric field at the center due to charge on the part a c d b we want to calculate electric field due to this part a c d b means three fourth of circle c this part of circle which I am making with green color what amount of charge is on this part it will ripple by symmetry in this direction same charge is on this one fourth part by symmetry it will ripple in this direction they will cancel each other the effect of these two charges it will cancel each other only now the remaining part is this one the remaining part is this one by symmetry it will ripple in this direction since charge on akb and cod is same only direction is opposite so magnitude should be same it means electric field e will act in this direction ok so e along ok so we are going with option e along ok so we are going with d option so eighth we got d ninth it is from 1998 AIPMT a point Q lies on the per perpendicular bisector of an electric dipole of dipole moment P 
if the distance of q from the dipole is r then electric field at q is proportional to i told you the formula what was the electric field in that direction it is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and perpendicular bisector it is p upon r cube. So, on which factor it will depend E is directly proportional to p and inversely proportional to cube of r or if you take a numerator you can say directly proportional to r raised to the power minus 3. So, we are going with option D. Next, it is from 2007 AIPMT, 3 point charges plus q minus 2 q and plus q are placed at the point x and z coordinate 0 y is a x y z both are 0 all 3 are 0 origin x a y 0 z 0 means on x axis. The magnitude and direction of the electric dipole moment vector of this charge assembly are C z in 0 in all cases first charge on y axis second charge on origin and third charge on x axis. So, we are making only x axis y axis this. So, this is point 0 0 0 where we put minus 2 q charge this is point on x axis where we put plus q charge and distance is this distance they gave a because I am taking this x axis it is y axis on this they put one charge again it is plus q at distance a. So, it means in our system there are two electric dipoles you can see in this we will split your minus 2 q in two parts one is this one minus q it is point O I am taking this point A and this point B it is O. So, I am taking one minus q with this plus q it is B it is O point. And one minus q I am taking with this plus q, it is point A. And dipole moment have direction from minus q to q. So, one it this p 1 its value is q into a and one dipole moment in this direction p 2 again same q into a and angle between these two is 90 degree. So, what I am getting and since both vectors are equal so resultant should be between them between these two what should be the magnitude of resultant if resultant I am saying p it was p 1 it is p. So, magnitude of p should be under root p 1 square plus p 2 square both are equal. So, under root q square a square 
plus q square a square. So, what I am getting q a root 2. So, root 2 q a not along x direction, not along y direction and not the magnitude q a. It is the point joining a a. So, we are going with a. Next, a dipole moment P is placed in uniform electric field E. It is from 2001 AIPMT. Then torque acting on it is given by, we have the derivation P E sin theta or P cross E. So, we are going with B. Now, it is from 2002 AIPMT. Some charge is being given to a conductor, then its potential A is maximum at surface, B is maximum at center, C remains same throughout the conductor. We know that what is the potential at the surface of a conductor inside at every point it is same. So, remains same throughout the conductor. So, we are going with C, 12th C. Now, it is from 2004 AIPMT. A bullet of mass 2 gram is having a charge of 2 micro coulomb. Through what potential difference must it be accelerated? Starting from rest to acquire a speed of 10 meter per second. What we know? If you apply a potential difference across a charge, it will acquire energy because we know that work is equals to charge into potential difference. Suppose you applied a V potential difference on charge 2. So, what work you done on the charge? 2 into micro means 10 to the power minus 6. V I am taking in volt this. So, due to this, there is a change in kinetic energy. We know that work energy theorem. Initially, kinetic energy was 0. So, what kinetic energy now with this bullet that is only change in potential kinetic energy? Because initially bullet was at rest, its kinetic energy was 0. What you observe, you are observing now, that kinetic energy is equal to change in kinetic energy, but we are saying its kinetic energy now is half m mass in gram change in kilogram. We want to do in SI units. V square means 100 because we are using formula half mv square. But work we calculated, work is calculated by us is 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into v, v is in volt. What we are getting? It should be equal to 10. So, what is the value of v? 10 by 2 means 5. into 10 to the power what we are getting see a bullet of mass 2 gram is having a charge of 2 micro coulomb charge was 2 micro coulomb converting into coulomb we got 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 volt work done is charge into potential difference t through what potential difference must it be accelerated we suppose it v starting from rest to acquire a speed of 10 meter per second kinetic energy is half m m was 2 by 1000 taking in gram v square v was in meter per second so it become 100 cancelling 2 0 what we are getting w half with half 1 by 10 what we are getting w 
not 10 we are getting this 1 by 10 we are getting 2 is cancelled with 2 2 0 so we are getting 1 by 10 so now potential difference is 10 to the power 6 upon 2 into 10 cancel 1 0 with this take 1 0 for 2 so now these are 10 to the power 4 volt so we are getting 5 into 10 to the power 4 take one more 0 with 5 so now 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 means kilo so what we are getting 50 kilo volt so we are going with option b we are going with option b next it is from 2009 ai pmt the electric potential at a point x y z is given by this the electric field i told you what is electric field minus magnitude should be negative i cap delta means partial differentiation of v with respect to x j partial differentiation of v with respect to y plus k partial differentiation of v with respect to z so not very tough what should be written with i cap partial differentiation means except x all variables are constant so differentiating this y is constant and differentiation of minus x square is minus 2x so we are getting minus 2xy it z cube is constant minus x minus 1 so we are getting minus z cube differentiation of 4 is 0 because it is constant what we have to write with j partially differentiate with respect to y means now x is constant differentiation of y is 1 so minus x square differentiation of x z cube 4 both are constants so 0 what we have to write with k partially differentiate with respect to z x and y are constants so differentiation of x square y 0 minus x is constant as it is z cube 3 z square so 3 z square x minus plus 4 is 0 take minus sign out of the bracket so it will become plus so what we are getting with i 2xy plus z cube with j x square what we are getting with k 3z square x so what we are getting with i we need 2xy plus z cube only in d option z x square all are matching so we are going with d 15th a hollow metal sphere of radius 10 centimeter is charged such that the potential on its surface is 80 volt what should be the potential at the center it was asked in 1994 aipmt i told you what is the potential on the surface of a conductor inside at each point it should be same center means a inside point so it should be again same 80 volts so we are going with option d 16th 